Hello everyone. So in the past, for the past couple of years, one of my very favorite makeup products of all has been the number six face pencil from Jones Road. And this is a color correcting pencil. It is a peach color and I have found it to be really, really helpful for me in terms of addressing the dark circles that I always have under my eyes. Now in the past there were four different color corrector pencils that Jones Road was offering, but I feel like very, very few people knew about them because they were just buried in with all of the concealer pencils from Jones Road. So you had to really be looking for them on the Jones Road website to even know that they existed. But fortunately, Jones Road this past week has introduced a whole new line of neutralizer pencils. So they have taken all four of those pencils and moved them into their own line. And then they've added some more pencils as well. So now there are nine neutralizer pencils and some of them are more pink and some of them are more peach and they're in different uh, levels of light and dark so that pretty much anyone uh, can find the right pencil uh, for their own under eyes uh, regardless of what kind of issues they have or what their skin tone is. And then in addition, Jones Road has added four more concealer pencils to the face pencil line. So now there is a total of 25 different shades in that line. So I think it's great that there are now so many options on the Jones Road website for people to be able to get the exact shade that they need. But I also think that there's the potential for people to be really confused because there are so many options in terms of which pencils would be right for them. So I happen to have the four lightest shades of the color corrector pencils and I also have six of the shades of the concealer pencils so I thought that it would be a good idea for me to do a little video where I talk about all of these different colors and also how to use the pencils and also how they compare to some of the other color correctors that I have tried. Now there is a quiz on the Jones Road website where you can answer some questions and the quiz will recommend to you some shades of concealer and corrector and of their foundation. And you also can write to Jones Road and provide a picture of yourself that was taken in natural light. And then they will recommend some, some shades to you personally. But I think it also would probably be useful for people to get as much information as they can before they make a decision. Because I do like these products enough that I would hate to have people be so uncertain about which colors to choose that they uh, don't end up buying any of them at all. So first, a little bit of information about me. I'm 59 years old and I have dry and sensitive skin and I have never had any kind of cosmetic procedures like injections or surgery and I don't intend to do that. And so I am hoping with makeup and skincare products that they can help me to look a little bit fresher and maybe even a little bit younger. And over the past three years, I've tried out about a thousand makeup products and so I have a pretty good basis of comparison for everything that I try and I am a particular fan of a lot of uh, the Jones Road products. I have found that many of them do work really well for me in terms of giving me a, a more natural and a casual but pretty look that I think works really well for me as I get older. And I am a really big fan of Bobbi Brown who is no longer at her old company and has now started uh, Jones Road and I think that this is a terrific little endeavor of hers. Now there are certain ingredients that I also always do find irritate my skin and so I don't talk about any products that contain those ingredients here on this channel. So in terms of the neutralizer pencils that Jones Road is currently offering. Uh, some of them are designed for particular skin tones. And then they also offer some that are a little bit leaning peach and there are some that are leaning pink. And what they say on their website is that if you have uh, gray or brown or greenish discoloration, then they're suggesting that you use a pencil that is more peach. And then they say that if you have a discoloration under your eyes that's more purple or blue or red, then you want to use a pencil that is more pink. Now that kind of confused me for a while because I felt like the discoloration under my own eyes was kind of a gray and kind of green, but that it also had some blue in it. So I was uh, really perplexed by that, but I did take their quick is on their website and they showed a picture of what they think that the reddish uh, 
blue and versus the greenish uh, gray looks like. And I think that mine is probably leaning a little bit more gray. And so therefore probably uh, the peach might be a, a better shade for me, at least according to that quiz. And my own skin tends to be sort of on the border between a fair and light, depending on how they are defining those terms for a particular foundation shade range. And so I decided to get all four of the lightest shades of this face pencil. Uh, two of them are supposed to be for fair skin and two of them are supposed to be for light skin. So I was hoping that if I tried out all of these shades, that I might be able to figure out exactly which one worked best for me. So I did some swatches uh, in a still picture that I will show you, and then I'll just show you these, these right now as well. So the lightest shade is a pink shade, and then the next one is a shade that is called Fair Peach. And then there is one that is called Light Peachy Pink. And then there is one that is called uh, light peach. And what I will say first is that I feel like these shades really are not very different from one another at all. I do think that the pink one uh, is a little bit lighter than the others and that the peach one is uh, slightly darker, but I really think that the, the two shades in the middle are really almost indistinguishable to me, regardless of what light I'm using and regardless of how good my photography is or even if it's just uh, natural looking at it just with my bare eye. So I think that there's an awfully lot of shades that they are offering right now and that many of them are very close to one another. And so that was uh, really interesting for me to find out by actually looking at all of these pencils together. So just in case you happen to use the neutralizer pencils that uh, Jones Road has been offering uh, for the past couple of years, this, this is how it translates. So face pencil number six is a light peach and face pencil number 11 is light peachy pink. And then there's two that are darker. One is face pencil number 13, which is medium peach, and face pencil number 17 is dark apricot. So earlier I did take some footage of me putting on these uh, pencils, uh, one under each eye, so you can see if you can tell the difference, at least on camera. So in the first set of footage, I am using the fair pencils, and then in the second set of footage, I am using the light pencils. And then in both of these videos, for the rest of my face, just for concealing, I am using pe face pencil number five, which is a concealing pencil. And in terms of what I'm putting under my eyes, I am just using the neutralizer pencil. Now Jones Road is saying in their instructions that uh, you should use the neutralizer pencil first and then you can put down a uh, face pencil in the concealing shade over that. I have never found that to be necessary, uh, either with the original pencil that I was using, face pencil number six, or really with any of these other colors. I think that they are all looking perfectly fine when I put them right down on top of the dark circle and I don't really need to put anything on top of them. So these are all fairly muted shades. It's not like they are really bright. It's not like they need some kind of a foundation on, on top of them, in my opinion. So I think that that has worked out just fine, and I am not a real big fan of uh, taking extra steps in my makeup if I don't have to. I'm trying to streamline things as much as possible. And then in this video footage, you can see that I'm putting on a, a little bit of other makeup in addition to that. So a number of these pieces are from Jones Road. I am putting on the Jones Road brow pencil, which I have found to be uh, very helpful for me in terms of creating a really quick uh, look that fills in my eyebrows without my needing to use a brow gel on top of it. I think it looks reasonably natural, especially considering how little time I'm put in it. I am also using the Jones Road Lip and Cheek Sticks. Uh, I really do like that product very much for both my lips and my cheeks, surprisingly. In one video, I'm also using a shade of the Jones Road Lip Tint, which I also like very much. 
And then they make a cream eyeshadow that is called Just a Sex. So I have several different colors of that. So I used a couple of different colors in the different video footage. And then Bobbi Brown is a really big mascara fan. And I found that uh, the Jones Road mascara did irritate my eyes a bit. So I am using some other mascara instead of that. And in a lot of cases, I really will just skip mascara. But uh, since she likes it so much, I made sure I put some on for this video footage. Now, Jones Road does make a very nice face powder. It's a loose face powder. It has a good amount of cornstarch in it. And I think that this face powder has been really, really terrific for me when I have used uh, the Wet the Foundation that Jones Road makes or other foundations that are on the oily side, that this will mop up a little bit of the oil and give my face a, a much nicer and prettier finish where my hair doesn't stick to it and that it, it lasts quite a lot longer on my face. So I do really like this powder. I also use it during the summer when my face is sweating and I think it does a good job for that. But uh, right now it's the winter and I am just putting on the face pencils and not using any other kind of foundation. So I feel like this is too drying for this time of year unless I'm using a really heavy oily foundation. And so I have decided for this video to use the Mob Beauty powder instead. And I think that that has worked really well for me apart from the fact that that uh, lid is very, very difficult to get on and off that container. Now, I think that one thing that is very important with these face pencils is that I think that your face does need to be moisturized and particularly the under eye area tends to be an area that is, at least for me and for many people, to be very dry. And these pencils tend to be much more dry than really most of the other concealers that I have used. So it does seem to be really important to have enough moisturizer on the face and especially in that under eye area. So they created an eye cream that is specifically designed, I think, for use with these pencils. So this is just called the Jones Road Eye Cream. It's a very light little cream and it goes on very nicely. I think it sinks in really fast. It's not greasy and you really only need just a tiny little bit, even for skin that's as dry as mine. So I think this is a good product to pick up and it's not really expensive compared to a lot of other eye creams that are out there. But even if you don't have the Jones Road eye cream, I, I would try to use some other kind of eye cream under this particular product because I do think it needs it for most people. So for most days, this is all of the makeup that I wear, and uh, it does give me a really natural look. It's uh, not really uh, the typical no makeup makeup, which actually does look like you are made up. I really feel like my goal when I put on makeup on most days is to look like I'm not wearing any makeup at all, or that maybe I just have a little bit of lipstick or a little bit of a fun eyeshadow on, but otherwise that you can't really tell that I'm wearing makeup at all. And there was one time when my husband actually said to me, you know, you spend all your time making these makeup videos, but you never actually wear makeup. Isn't that strange? And I'm like, oh, I put on makeup almost every day. So I'm really happy that uh, you can't tell that I'm actually wearing it. So that's not the kind of makeup style that everyone likes, but I, it is one that I feel comfortable with. And I think that these Jones Road products lend themselves to that in particular, and that these face pencils are a really important part of that. So Jones Road runs a Facebook group for uh, people who have purchased from their company. And I have been a member ever since the day that that group started, actually. And uh, if you are interested, uh, if you, anyone that has purchased anything from the Jones Road website, uh, or presumably from the Jones Road stores, can join that Facebook group. I think there's uh, 40,000 people in the group now. So it's a very nice group. It's mostly women who are over 40. It's mostly women, in a lot of cases, who have not worn a lot of makeup before and they just want to have a, a more natural type of a look as they get older. And I think it's a really supportive atmosphere and a kind of a fun nice little group so I would suggest taking a look at that if you have an interest in that. So now let's talk about the concealer shades and there are 25 shades now and I have six of these shades so I basically picked all the shades that were in the light category. And when I have swatched these both on my face and on my arm, uh, recently I have found that it's seeming to me like the best shade for me is shade number five. 
and shade number five is described as a light shade with cool pink undertones. Now I think that that is a little surprising to me because I feel like there are a lot of people that have skin that is much more cool than mine is and that usually my skin is much more on the neutral side or on the neutral peachy side. It may be the case with some foundation lines that I do better with the cool shades when I actually go to the store and try a bunch on because some foundation lines do lean a little bit warm, but I also feel like in some cases that a foundation shade that's marked warm may work the best for me. So it really depends on uh, how the foundation line is, is uh, calibrated. But in this case, uh, it does seem to be fairly clear to me that at least right now that I seem to be doing best with the number five shade. And when I sent a picture of myself to some of the people from the Jones Road group, some of the makeup artists that work in that group, uh, they told me that they thought that I was probably five also. So what I would like to suggest from that is that I do think that this particular whole foundation line, at least when we're getting into the light shades, that it leans a bit warm. So that may be something to consider. Consider. So one thing that does happen is that even though I don't think my skin gets much more tan during the summer than it is during the winter, I still think it does get a little bit more tan and when that happens it gets a little bit more golden. So in that case, uh, some of these other shades may work a little bit better for me than they do right now in the winter. But I still think that overall that this line, it's good to know that most of these shades are going to be a little bit more on the golden side. And if you want something that's going to be more neutral, leaning, cool, then you're really going to have to pick a cool shade, I think. But I also think it's the case that despite the fact that a lot of these shades don't look like they're an exact match, when I rub them into my skin, uh, they always look perfectly fine. I don't think that it's noticeable at all that, that they're not exactly the same color. So I think that with cream concealers especially that they do blend into the skin very nicely, especially if you use a brush like I usually do. And so that is not something that I would be really worked up about if you happen to buy the a shade and then you feel like it's not an exact match. I think you're going to have a much easier time with it than uh, people do if you're using a uh, liquid foundation or a liquid concealer. And the cream con concealers like this do blend in really nicely. So that is one thing that I really do like about this particular line and cream concealers in general is that uh, first of all, they don't seem to emphasize my wrinkles and secondly, they are very forgiving. And it also is the case that your skin is not going to be exactly the same color in all areas of the skin, that the forehead may be a different color than the chin. So unless you're using several different colors anyway, there's not going to be an exact match over the entire skin. And that as long as you're pretty close in the ballpark, it'll probably be all right. And I think that this is even more the case with the color corrector. So even though I can see a small difference between some of these shades uh, with my eye when I have them swatched on my hand, when I put them on my under eyes, I really don't feel like there's a big difference. So even when I am using the light pink one versus the one that's the, the light peach, I really am not seeing much of a difference at all. Now, obviously, if I had a shade that was much darker, then that might be a lot different. But in these four shades, uh, I think that uh, Jones Road is being really generous in offering all these different shades because I'm not sure that for really anyone, probably, if you uh, pick one of them, it would probably be fine and just almost as good as any of those four. And so now I took some of the other color correctors that I own and I swatched them all next to one another on my arm. So you can take a look at how they all compare to one another across brands. So the first four next to my wrist, those are the four from Jones Road. And I really don't see in, in this picture either that there's a big difference in those four. And then right next to those are two from Bobbi Brown, which is of course uh, Bobbi Brown's old company. And uh, both of those are in the color that is called Light Bisque. So one of these is the color correcting stick that they just released a couple years ago. And then for a longer period of time than that, quite a few years, ever since Bobbi Brown was actually at that company, they have had a pot color corrector. And so both of those are in the color Light Bisque, which is a kind of a pink color. 
And I had always thought that the light bisque color worked fine for me, and that was the color that Bobby Brown recommended to me in the pot color uh, many years ago when I first started to use it. So I always thought that was a good shade for me in that, but when I compared it to the Jones Road colors, it actually is the same as that pink color. And I'm not sure that the pink color is the ideal color for being under my eyes. But as I say, all four of those Jones Road colors uh, seem to work fine for me. Hopefully I can eventually uh, finish off all the four of those pencils. And I think that the light bisque from the Bobbi Brown uh, works perfectly fine also. Now, Bobbi Brown does have a bunch of other colors in their line, uh, but I'm still not sure that any of the other colors would be as good as the light bisque for me. The other ones start to get kind of dark, I think. So next, there's three color correctors that are all water-based and they have a doe foot. Uh, the first one is the Chanel, then there is one from Tarte, and then there is one from Exa. So to my eye, the Chanel, which is in the color rose, and the Exa, which is in the uh, color pink, those both look very similar to me, and I think that those look even lighter than the Bobbi Brown Light Bisque color or the Jones Road uh, pink color. So those uh, are the lightest colors that those uh, brands offer, and I think that uh, they are not just... Uh, putting color correction under my eyes when I use them. They are also brightening a bit just because they are such a light shade. And then the other one here is the Tarte shade, and in that one they do offer a pink color, but I chose the uh, peach shade just to see what it would be like. And I think that's probably a little bit too dark for me. It's certainly darker than the Bobbi Brown or the Jones Road products that I have. And then if you look all the way on the end, that is a NARS product. It was released last year and they have a line of concealers but uh, that's been around for a while but then they also have this eye brightener which is in the color Night Swan and that is really not a color corrector at all. That is really just a shade that is supposed to brighten up your under eyes. So I thought I would show you that in comparison because I do think that in a lot of cases people tend to think of that as being a substitute for the color correctors and it is quite a bit different. And then I have one more color corrector that I thought I would show you in comparison to the Jones Road peach color and also the Tarte color in the peach. And this is from Fit Glow and this is called Peach. So you can see here that we have the Jones Road one on the top and then in the middle we have the Tarte color and then at the bottom we have the Fit Glow. So I would say that both the Tarte color and the Fit Glow one are quite a lot darker than that Jones Road peach color. So what I would say is that when I try all of these other brands, I am finding that for the most part they are making shades that are either really too light for me or uh, more dark than would be ideal. And so I think it's very interesting here that uh, the only color correctors that I have ever found that I think uh, would really work for me are the Bobbi Brown one. And I think that that one light bisque color is maybe the only color that really would be ideal for me. And the Jones Road one. And now Jones Road has four colors and they all seem to work fine for me. So I think that that's... Uh, an abundance of riches that uh, we can all be really happy about it. I think regardless of what color skin you have in terms of skin tone, you will be able to find a good match in this uh, Jones Road Neutralizer line just because there are so many different choices. So let's talk about each of these other choices and I will show you some video with me putting it on under my eyes. So the first one is the Bobbi Brown stick and you can see that I have used up almost this whole product so I am a very big fan of this one. So there are 13 shades in this product and this is the second lightest shade. The very lightest one is called Very Light Bisque, I think. And that one is probably too light for me. Uh, this one is a slight uh, pink color, as, as I showed you before. And I think that this one has worked okay for me. I do really like the fact that it's in a stick form. And it's uh, somewhat moisturizing, so I can put it on directly. I don't need to put eye cream on underneath it. And I think it smooths in really easily. And it doesn't emphasize my wrinkles, so I think that that is really good. And it looks very natural and blends in even faster than the Jones Road product. So I do need to spend a short period of time uh, doing aggressive blending with the Jones Road one, whereas this one requires hardly any blending at all. I can just use my finger really fast and then be done with it. So that is a good thing. 
I also like the fact that this does not need to be sharpened. So sharpening uh, tends to be a little bit of a pain with the Jones Road pencils and I need to always make sure I have that sharpener around. This one does have some BHT in it. I don't really consider that to be a problem for makeup that goes on my skin. I might be a little bit more concerned for makeup that goes on my lips. But I, I think that uh, in general, the, the makeup products that I have used that have had BHT in them, including a lot of the Merit products, that all of them seem to be okay. Supposedly this has coffee seed extract in it, so I think it might be supposed to be depuffing. I'm not sure if I have really noticed my eyes being depuffed by this, but I do feel like it's a really good product for me to put on my eyes and that it always does look nice and that I feel like it's it's uh, always worked well for me and it's never caused any irritation. So these did go out totally out of stock for a while on the Bobbi Brown website and I found myself being kind of upset about that because even though I can use the Jones Road pencils and those work perfectly fine, I do have a real uh, affection for this product in terms of how fast it goes on and how easy it is to blend in. So I would like to be able to keep using this one. Now this other color corrector product from Bobbi Brown, this has been out for quite a while and it comes in a little pot like this and I use this a whole lot before either Bobbi Brown or Jones Road came out with these sticks and you can see that there's hardly any gone from this container. So uh, you really only need to use a tiny little bit under the eyes and it does blend in quite easily. The main ingredient in this, so the first thing on the ingredient list is petrolatum. So it does seem like it should be a little bit greasy and it does go on pretty greasy, but I have found that even if I don't put a setting powder on top of it, it actually looks okay. Now it's been a while since I have used this regularly apart from demonstrating it on camera, but I think that there are some people that actually like this product better. There's not as many shades. There's never been as many shades, I don't think, and right now it looks like they only have shades for light and medium skin tone. So it's possible they're still trying to uh, think about whether or not this should stay on the market or not, but some people really do like it, and I think that uh, if all of those other products went away but this one was still out, I could manage to survive because I thought it was perfectly fine when I was using it. And I don't feel like it makes my wrinkles look worse, it hasn't caused any irritation, and it's been pretty easy for me to use. So I think it's a viable substitute. Now Chanel has a line of correctors and they are come in a doe foot like this. Uh, if this is a water-based formula. But the good thing is that both the Chanel correctors and the similar Chanel concealers, that they really haven't uh, caused a emphasis of my wrinkles. They look pretty natural when I wear them. So that is good. I think that this is slightly irritating rough if I put it on my eyelids, but in terms of putting this on my under eyes, it's really been okay for me. So I don't mind using this product. It is a little bit on the light side for me and it looks like the other shade, the next shade, the peach shade, that that one would probably be too dark for me. And there's only three shades total. And then there's a green shade, which uh, you can use if you have like red spots on your skin. So I feel like this shade is really too light for me. I can uh, wear it okay if I'm going to be wearing foundation over it, but I don't think it looks great when I wear it on my own, but I think it does look better than not wearing anything. And the main issue with this product is that it is $45, which is kind of a lot of money for a concealer, and especially a lot of money for a concealer that I don't like as much as I like uh, the Bobbi Brown or the Jones Road versions. And then this EXA product, my dog managed to get a hold of this and to chew up a, a lot of this plastic, but it's still functional, fortunately. This is a product that I, I really feel like it's very, very similar to the Chanel product. And I am not sure if the Chanel one was released first and EXA copied it, or maybe EXA released it first and then Chanel copied it, I'm not really sure. But in any case, the color selection seems to be the same. The 
functionality of it in terms of the doe foot app. Peter seems to be the same. This is a slightly bigger doe foot, but uh, in terms of the, uh, the formula, again, both of them, I would not want to use them on top of my eyes, but I can kind of get away with it in terms of the under eyes. It hasn't been irritating. I don't feel like this one uh, exacerbates the look of my wrinkles, and I feel like it works okay, but again, it's the same color almost exactly as the Chanel one, and I think it's really too light for my skin unless I'm putting foundation over it. And this one has four shades of pink and peach, but again, I think that the peach shade looks like it would be too dark for me, and this one's a little too light. And then there is also a yellow shade uh, that is supposed to be good for balancing, I think, uh, bluish areas on the skin or darker areas. And then there's a green version of this as well. And again, if this is all that I had, then I would uh, probably use it, but I think that, uh, again, the Bobbi Brown and the Jones Road products are much preferable. And then the next product is the Tarte product, and this one uh, was released, I think, last year, and it is called the Tarte Shape Tape Corrector for $32. Now, the Shape Tape, the original Shape Tape, I have never purchased because when I looked at the ingredient list, it looks like there's a lot of stuff in it that would be problematic for my skin, I think. But this is a totally different formula, and I don't feel like this has been irritating for me. I feel like I've been able to tolerate it fine. Uh, this comes in uh, eight or nine shades. There's a white one, which may or may not be available, and then there's a few other weird ones. There's a black one, which you're supposed to be able to use as contouring if you have really dark skin and blue, which might uh, balance out uh, reddish or orangish reddish areas on the skin. So some people may be able to use that appropriately, it looks like. And then there is a green shade, a yellow shade, and then there's four shades uh, in pink or peach or moving all the way up to red. And so the one that I have is the second lightest shade. This is the peach one. I think it's really too dark for my under eyes. Again, I think that if you put foundation on top of it, you can put on anything. And if you blend it in enough, then you can kind of get away with it. But I, I don't think that this is a shade that I'm ever going to get much use out of. I would have been much better off if I had chosen the pink one. So even though I think that it's not terrible, I do think that it is emphasizing the wrinkles uh, around my eyes or, and under my eyes more than uh, most of the other correctors that I've been talking about in this video. And then the NARS product comes in a little pot and it was released last year. Now NARS for a long time has had a cream concealer and I have not tried that because some of those ingredient lists have made me a bit nervous. But this product has an ingredient list that I think is much better and I haven't had any issues at all in terms of it irritating my eyes. I feel like it uh, feels really good on my eyes and I think it looks okay as long as I put a foundation over it. It's not really a color corrector at all. It's really just a light concealer that uh, is a little bit on the reflective side. It does feel good on my under eyes, so that part is good, but I don't think of it as being a substitute for these other products, and I don't think it works really as well for me at all, but some people might like it better. And then the final product that I have is this Fit Glow product, and this was released, I think, last year also. So Fit Glow has a line of products that they're focused mostly on skincare products, so they have put a lot of effort into developing good, clean skincare products. And I actually do really like a lot of their skincare products quite a lot, and I've had a lot of success with it. Then they also have some makeup products, and this seems to be secondary, both in terms of how much effort they put into it, and also what their goal is, is to have all of the makeup actually be functional in terms of serving as skincare, as well as makeup. So this color corrector is an oil-based product, and it stays fairly soft on the skin. It, it takes quite a long time for it to dry down. So even though I put this on my skin a, a while back, it's still a quite, uh, kind of soft and sticky. And what I have found is that, I don't know if you can tell this on my hand, but I think you can tell in the video footage, 
that I think that of all of the products that I've talked about today, I think that this one is really emphasizing the texture under my eyes the most, which is a little bit of a surprise because it's oil-based, but I think that uh, when I put this on, you definitely can tell that I have a product on, and even if I put some powder on top of it, I still feel like it doesn't look entirely natural, certainly not in the way that the Jones Road or the Bobbi Brown products look. So even though I'm a big fan of uh, Fit Glow in terms of the skin, here I kind of found this particular product to be a disappointment. I think it could be that if you don't have as many wrinkles as I do or you don't have as many texture issues in general then this could be a good product for you but I have not had a lot of success with it for that reason. And this product is available in five shades, so it's available in the green, and that might have some more potential because you might be able to put it on parts of your face that are not as likely to get uh, a lot of texture as the under eyes. And then there's a yellow one, and then there's three that are this color. So I think this is really dark and there is no shade that's pink, that's lighter. So therefore that's another drawback of this product is that there's really no shade that I really feel comfortable with in terms of it being a, an exact uh, appropriate color for my under eyes. So in general, I am really, really happy that they have finally started to draw more attention to these neutralizer pencils. I really feel like they have been deserving of that attention for a long time, and so I'm hoping that more people will get a chance to take advantage of them. Now, they aren't very expensive in terms of the cost per pencil. A $25 is a pretty good price, but it also is the case that you uh, need to spend $85 to get free shipping from Jones Road. So that's a little bit of a barrier for many people in terms of their mindset, in terms of buying anything from the company. And it also is a little bit unfortunate that there's not really anywhere that you can try them on unless you happen to be uh, in the New York or New Jersey area and you can go to one of their stores. So there are a few downsides at this point, but I think that this is such a terrific product that it may be worth giving it a try anyway. I really, really do like it very much. So thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. And if you have issues with dark circles, then I would be interested in hearing from you uh, what has helped for you. And in addition, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, then I hope you will go ahead and do that. And Coco and I love you very much, so thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.